Hi, Dr. Vincent De Pasquale with NSI, and I'd like to touch base with you regarding COPD. One of the things that I see really commonly with COPD patients is they're extremely skeptical. You know, in the back of their head, they're always thinking, well, why would this work for me? And I know why, you know, I know why patients come in in that way. And it's because from day one, when you're diagnosed with that disease, all you ever hear is this is a chronic degenerative condition with no cure that will always approach end stage and will ultimately cause your death or demise. Um, and that's what you hear from, from, from all of the resources. The American Lung Association, that's essentially their definition of COPD. It's a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease with no cure that will always approach end stage. And you can get that right off their website. So when you hear those things over and over, especially from the professionals that you trust, then you tend to believe it. What I would suggest is yes, that's absolutely true if your primary tools are drugs and surgery. They don't provide a long-term solution, but when we use a different set of tools, a set of tools that is designed to heal and regenerate tissue and promote function, then we can be very successful. And I think, you know, the biggest thing for me with COPD, I mean, it, it's a hard thing to deal with. Sitting on the other end of the desk, having a conversation with a COPD patient and not having them understand that we can help, uh, it's a difficult thing to do, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to deal with because we know that we can help them. If you're one of those patients who finds it hard to believe that we have a possible solution, what I'd invite you to do is just click on the link. We have lots of testimonials and third-party verification from actual patients who have been through this process and who have trusted us enough to be able to provide that intervention. And as a result, we've changed their lives. You know, I want you to consider something. Yes, um, you know, just because we've been told the same thing over and over and over, it doesn't mean that technology doesn't change. It doesn't mean that healthcare doesn't change. You know, uh, way back 100 years ago, our healthcare environment looked extremely different and, and the things that we were telling patients were very different than they are today and we're at the cusp of a change in our healthcare paradigm and our healthcare process and you know um, stem cell therapy plays a role and it's the future of healthcare for that reason um, you know what I would suggest is just consider that uh, there's a possibility and if you need information from us or anything that we can provide to help you make the best decision about how you're gonna go about solving your problem we'd be happy to do that remember that we don't tell people what to do what we do is empower them with information and then allow them to make a decision. So we'd be happy to take you uh, through that process if you like.